What's up guys, it's Jesse from The Power of Adventure. I'm a master electrician and RV upfitter, and today we're gonna be taking a break from this off-grid build to show you a really cool project we completed a few weeks ago. More than 3,000 watts of solar, 48 volt batteries, super class C. I think you're really gonna enjoy this one. Let's get into it. All right guys, here is what we are working with. This is the old battery and distribution system. And here is the old inverter. The new system that we are installing is quite large and will take up both of these compartments. And here is a view of the customer's roof before the solar installation. We are going to be pre-building the system in the shop so everything is programmed, working, connected to the internet and recording information even before it's installed in the RV. For a large system like this, we are going to be using multiple solar controllers, DC to DC chargers, and inverters to produce enough power to support a full 50 amp, 240 volt service. And the system of this size will be able to power anything in the RV for days, if not weeks. For this system, we decided to go with three 48 volt Rich Solar Alpha 5 Pro rack batteries. And this will provide over 14 kilowatts of lithium battery storage. Here you can see that the battery comes with numerous cables. Uh, here's some communication cables. It also comes with jumpers that go from battery to battery. Uh, here's another communication cable and a grounding cable. And of course, the user manual. Each battery weighs about 100 pounds, so be careful getting it out by yourself. The battery feels super high quality. The terminals are standard pin type connectors, of course, positive and negative. And here's what that pin connection looks like. This battery also comes equipped with a 125 amp overcurrent protection breaker, which is very nice. And when this is turned on, we'll provide power to the terminals. It also has an on off switch for the BMS. Let's turn it on here. Let it do its diagnostics. And you can see that the battery was shipped with about 50% state of charge, which is normal. Here's a quick picture of the battery statistics if you want to pause and check that out it also comes with some robust handles and they feel solid when you pick it up when researching this battery i was under the impression we would get a positive and negative connector like indicated in the manual but really what we got was two sets of jumper cables like this and one set of 10 foot uh, battery cables like this and since we'll be pulling more than 100 amps from this battery bank, I needed to go ahead and order two more of these. All right, so let's see how the battery's installed in the RV. We decided to mount them vertically where the old battery was. You can see that we've completely redesigned the distribution system and also added a 12 volt starter battery for the generator. If you were comparing this 48 volt battery bank to a 12 volt battery bank, it would be an equivalent of 1200 amp hours. And that's a massive upgrade from the 100 amp hour battery that came with the RV. In this compartment, you can see that we've mounted our dual 5000 watt multi plus twos and all of our solar controllers, DC to DC chargers, over current protection and distribution. The compartment is equipped with two 48 volt fans that will keep it cool when everything's running hot. We decided to use aluminum unistrut to create a custom roof rack for this massive solar array and used about 25 10 foot lengths. Before installing any new equipment on the roof, we find it important to address any damaged or aging seals or penetrations on the roof. Here you can see the process of installing the four 25 foot rails that the solar panels will mount on and this will only raise the clearance of the RV about four inches. We were able to fit eight 400 watt rich solar panels on this roof rack. And with the added bonus of getting it above all the equipment, there will be no problems with shading. With 3,200 watts of unhindered solar power, this customer is gonna be boondocking for days. And here's the difference between the 450 watts you can fit on a camper van. This system also incorporated a Victron Servo GX, which means when connected to the internet, it can be monitored from anywhere in the world. This gives our customers great confidence in learning their new off-grid system, even if they don't know anything about electricity. It also incorporates a beautiful touchscreen that becomes one of the best tools for you to understand how your system works. 
So definitely the most solar that we've ever put on a Class C. Really cool project. This customer is on his way to Alaska, so uh, we'll see just how the system performs. And uh, yeah, stick with us. Next, we're gonna be converting a Ford Transit into a Milwaukee Packout van. Another really cool project, glad to be part of it. Of course, if you think that any of our services could be of use to you, you can find us at powerofadventure.us. As always, thanks so much for watching. Catch us on the next one.